One of the trickle down effects of the coronavirus could be felt at the grocery store soon. Several large meat processing plants across the country have closed or cut back operations because workers were either ill or too afraid to go in. So could there be a shortage of some types of meat at your local market? Erica Ferrando got some answers. Right now, there is no shortage of poultry, pork or beef at Chris's specialty meats in New Orleans. We have a great relationship with our vendors and they're keeping us update the best they can but we're doing what we can to keep ourselves stocked and right now they are stocked. That's good news since some meat processing plants across the country like Tyson Foods closed because of sick employees. Last week, President Trump signed an executive order to keep meat processing plants open. They're all kind of saying the, some of the same things. A lot of their team members aren't able to show up for work or in a lot of cases, they're having to spread them out more so than what they have in the past. James Briel is Rouse's vice morning. president of Fresh. I think that your independent retailers will be the ones that are able to respond the best to the demands that the customers are having. Meat fridges may be empty at some groceries, but he says Rouse's market stocked up. We've kind of looked at this from day one, and at that point in time, really started to put product away to be able to make sure that we could guarantee supply. Across the country, Briel expects to see a tighter meat supply throughout the next few months. It has started to affect the pricing somewhat. Um, I do foresee it affecting the pricing in the future. Some stores like Costco are limiting customers to three fresh meat items. I think that you'll be able to find product when you go to the stores. It just will be limited in some cases. Um, so there's no need to really go out and panic buy it. Because at Rouse's, you're seeing our cases full. And Chris's. Business as usual. There is still enough to go around, at least for now. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And while the meat industry may experience struggles, Rouse's says we're lucky to live on the Gulf Coast since the seafood industry is thriving and there's plenty of shrimp and fish available to get your protein.